Well guys, it looks like uh, the situation ain't quite over and there's been one hell of an update on the Templin Institute's terrible take about no canon in 40k existing and that's why female space marines should be added to the lore because fuck canon, it doesn't exist and even in his video he said, let's kill canon. Okay. <laughs> I seriously can't believe a lore channel unironically just said, Let's kill canon. You cannot have lore without a canon that they, they require each other. They're mutually dependent. Well, regardless, um, I did end up uh, doing an open mic stream, which I encourage everyone to check. I'll link it in the comment section and in the description below. And there I invited Templin Institute on throughout the day yesterday without even really knowing when he was going to upload that particular video uh, we all knew it was in the works but i didn't know when he would upload it so i just started the stream up when he was active the day before on twitter when he started posting this nonsense and i dm'd him on twitter twice uh once when i initially started up the stream then three hours into the stream i also added him publicly on twitter I even added him on YouTube in the title of the open mic stream, and I had a few of my friends comment and send messages to him asking him to come on, and even while the stream was live when the video dropped, which by the way I did end up actually reacting live to it, so if you guys want to see that, it's timestamped on that open mic stream. This will be one of the few times I admit this, but your interpretation is every bit as valid as mine. If you can look- No, mine's more valid than yours, and yes, I will say that. Disagree? Come on the stream, you coward. I've- I've DM'd him twice, I've added him on Twitter, and this cat- He- thing is, here's the thing, if this is the only thing you see, he's not showing his tweets, he's not showing where all this is sourced from. He's acting like he's this calm, refined, carefully thought out person. You're so full of shit. I'll read it again. Yeah, let's go for a third time. Let's do it. The argument that there can't be female space marines because it violates established aura canon or whatever is not only completely asinine, but reflects a total misunderstanding of Warhammer 40,000 universe. Feel free to argue with me so I can destroy you and incorporate your arguments into a video that will destroy you further. At what point did you levy this perspective, this open idea that it's all an opinion? What point did you levy this to us? All oh, right, your fucking video. Such a Whether lying I say coward that bitch. Exist or saying so if you want to see my take live, go right ahead. <laughs> Despite all of that, and even leaving a comment on his video, where he, which he replied to, so I know he saw it, and then I replied to his reply with a link to the stream, telling him, hey, come on in, and we'll have a chat. He never showed up. The man never grew a pair and defended his take live. Nope, had to do it in a pre-scripted video, and trust me, being pre-scripted didn't help it whatsoever. The video was god-awful and terrible. He provides no contextual evidence whatsoever in the lore to defend his take that there should be female space marines. He spends 90% of the video talking about female space marines as if they are 100% canon and do exist, and they're just, oh, well, I'm 90% sure. He even said something as, as asinine as, well, I'm 90% sure, call, or 90% or sure that uh, G uh, Gilliman isn't a girl, but, uh, oh, well, you know, that's 90%. He's stuff like that, he's just talking through the video through his ass, but provides absolutely no reasoning to why he believes this thing. And he started the video with the quote from the rulebook stating that only men could be space marines. He started with that quote. Literally everything that came after is negated by it, and he provided no counter to that statement. Not at any point. The whole video is just him asserting his supposition and leaving it at that. It's one of the worst videos I've ever seen when it comes to ta discussing lore and a perspective on it. Quite honestly, I hate to say this, but some of the other femmarine arguments are better. They're still horrid and easily debunked, but the other arguments I could think of for, for femmarines, like future ones, like, oh, the Primaris uh, crossing the Rubicon and stuff like that, maybe we can introduce female space marines to that, or, or, uh, or Chaos getting spa uh, female space marines through Belisarius Call, that kind of stuff. 
But he didn't even try that. He just went a far worse route for an already horrible inclusion that adds nothing to the setting. And it's just baffling. And it all is just perfectly decorated on a cake with the idea that he's a lore channel. The Templin Institute is a lore channel. And he's, in his video, said the death of canon for the sake of female space marines. Can you tell me a far worse take? I don't think you can. Well, when the video dropped, my initial belief with the reaction to it was going to be a little bit of resistance, a little bit of struggle, but I didn't expect too much backlash. I, I, I figured with a channel with over 500K and so many videos people did like in the past that I didn't really believe that any major thing would come of this to hurt them because so many of those subscribers I figured would become religious zealots at this point and would have invested too much in the channel. Wouldn't really want to leave with too many dislikes and wouldn't really want to resist, you know, a perspective that the Templin Institute provides. They had just come to rely on them a little bit for lore. But lo and behold, I was proven dead wrong. Not only does the video currently stand at like 5.8 thousand likes, I believe, and 14,000 dislikes. Yeah, that's right. It has well over double the number of likes as its dislikes. It is just being pounded into the ground. But if that wasn't enough, honestly, the real number that is hurting here is the subscriber count. Just three days ago, three days ago, they had 536,000 subscribers. That's right. The Templin Institute had 536 thousand and in just a couple of days some bad tweets and a really bad video they've dropped way way down by 5,000 subs they're already down to 530k and that's just in a couple of days can you imagine if this continues honestly i think this is one of those cases where i would encourage the temple industry to take the video down not only is it an insult to anybody who's invested any amount of energy and support into their channel but honestly again that video is so horribly bad that i just i, I just don't understand why they uploaded it to begin with it's just gonna hurt them so bad now i don't think that's gonna completely stop the sub uh the sub seek right now so many people are mad alone about the tweets and one thing I want to bring up real quick in the video and the tone of the video when it comes to this take about female space marines and in the la and not no canon existing and the tweets he initially posted it is shocking because the tweets he initially posted on Twitter, he came in swinging with a battle axe. This man came screeching into our community on Twitter, which to be fair, there ain't that there ain't a huge amount of. Uh, 40k fans on there, but there's clearly enough for backlash like this and Holy crap. He came in saying stuff like well the argument that there can't be female space marines because it violates the steps law or canon or whatever is not only completely asinine But reflects a total misunderstanding of the Warhammer 40k universe and even his immediate reply to his own tweet there is Feel free to argue with me so I can destroy you and incorporate your arguments into a video that would destroy you further. Well, the thing is, in his video, he incorporated none of the counter arguments. Nothing. No counter arguments whatsoever that I can scroll and find throughout the replies of his video are in this tweet thread. The man was a liar. And in the video, does he carry this tone of aggression? Does he carry this tone of confidence and strength? Fuck no. In the video, he's like, oh, well, you know, this is my perspective and uh, this is what I believe. But if you believe uh, uh, the opposite, then this is one of the rare times and I believe uh, you're perfectly valid to do so. Your take is just as valid as mine and you should give me the same due respect that I'm giving you. Oh yeah, where was that respect when you came in on Twitter fucking swinging a mace, smashing everything around you, and demanding and telling everybody you're right, and that if anyone disagrees, they're not only asinine and don't understand 40k, but you'll destroy them. Where did all of that energy go, you big badass? Where did it go? Nowhere. It went straight in the toilet because you're an absolute wuss. Holy shit, talk about a tone shift. So the thing is, I can't even respect the Templin Institute on that level. I can't even respect them 
on the level that at least they were firm in their belief because they weren't. They went from being this hyper aggressive, overconfident take to all of a sudden just, just wussing out. Just, just total like cuck energy here. Like where did all that go? Nowhere apparently. So yeah, it, it's <laughs> it's it's been a show. It's been a show. I got to ask the, the Templin Institute this, though, in this video. Was it worth it? Was a couple of bad tweets a, a rotten, horrible take that has that shows a grave misunderstanding of the concept of lore and also the requirement of canon in lore for a lore to exist? Not only do you show a complete misunderstanding of that, you also aggressively attacked the 40k community and then back, back, back... <laughs> Oh my god, you backpedaled so hard in your video, so no one can even respect you on that level. What is there left? So overall, uh, this has been a, a fascinating situation. But um, yeah, like I said, the to sum up the overall backlash and consequences of having god-awful take, like, oh, you, no cannon in the lore, that's not required. Anything is possible. Oh, by the, before I end the video, he also in the video unironically defended someone uh, he he basically in the comment section of his video some people were making some joke comments and one of them was a comment about a loyalist gene stealer and he unironically said in response to it which by the way he said I don't know if there's much justification for that there's no justification for female space marines in fact there's directly counter evidence in the lore for it and no evidence for it and that doesn't exist, but apparently justification matters now when we're talking about gene stealers here. But he's, but he ends it still with like, oh, but that's still a possibility. That'd be interesting to see. Dude, just take the L. Just take the L. You, the more you defend this this stance, the worse you look. The worse you look. Oh my God, it's so bad. But yeah, I'm gonna end the video off by capping it all off and, and summing it up. Templin Institute makes a completely brain dead tweet, not understanding the concept of lore or canon, makes a video furthering defending the point, and loses over 5,000 subscribers and counting, and gets over 14,000 dislikes on a video with only 5k likes. I think that's a pretty clear cut response from the quote unquote minority of the 40k community.